here. The state of Hawaii charged me as a criminal for doing just what I showed you. It was a 30-day jail sentence, $1,000 fine. I fought the charge in court, which was called commercial vending in a state park. I don't sell anything. These are very sacred items to me. So when I went to court, I said, Your Honor, how in the world have you charged me for vending when nothing is for sale? He goes, well, it's because of your basket. I said, what about my basket? He goes, well, it's very obvious that after you're done doing your thing, they appreciate it so much, they all throw money in there for you. I said, that's not vending. I said, Your Honor, there's no sign, and I never tell anybody they got to give me money for what I do. So if that's the case, should you have actually charged me or the guy putting the money into my basket? <laughs> so he chuckled. I said, I know, it sounds ridiculous, doesn't this? But I go, when did it become illegal to accept gifts out of love and compassion? He wouldn't even answer me. So I said, Your Honor, remember, you summoned me. I'm the one who have all the questions I need clarified. He goes, okay, what would you like to know? I said, Your Honor, do you even have the jurisdiction you're claiming to have? He goes, are you kidding me? I said, no. Will you show me evidence and proof to your claim? He goes, yes, what would you like to see? I said, if you could just have the prosecutor bring in the treaty of annexation so that I can look over it, it'll answer every single one of my questions. He goes, perfect, we'll get to that later. Okay, later turned out to be five separate court appearances. And the fifth time I show up, they have me scheduled for trial. I'm extremely frustrated, you guys believe me, but during the middle of my trial, I simply stood up and I said, Your Honor, quit wasting my time. He goes, what are you talking about? I said, you promised that the prosecutor would bring the evidence to the claim. Did he bring it today? Prosecutor jumped out of his chair and goes, Your Honor, we don't have to prove jurisdiction because we already know we have it. So I said, really? I object. That was ridiculous. And I gave him this as an example. Your Honor, that would be like me selling my car to you. I lost the title. You knew that, but still bought the car from me. Well, after you purchased the car from me, the prosecutor shows up with the title to the car. Whose is it? And he goes, the prosecutor. I said, yes. He has the proof and evidence to show it's his. You said he also has the proof and evidence to your claim. If he didn't bring that for me today, I am extremely sorry, Your Honor. I can only assume you have no jurisdiction here. He sits up in his chair and goes, we got to call a recess. All of a sudden, he's trying to be nice to me. He goes, can you come back at 3 o'clock? You guys, it's 10 in the morning. So I go, are you joking? My kids are at babysitters. They've been there the past five times I've shown up for you. He goes, I know, I'm very sorry, but I got to look over important documents to make sure the decision that I make is the correct decision. I said, fine, what documents are you referring to? He goes, I have yet to look over what you have submitted as evidence. This is my fifth time here. I go, you know what, Your Honor? You have clearly wasted my time. When I get back in an hour, will you have this resolved? He goes, yes. So I left. I come back an hour later. I walk into his courtroom. This was his exact words. We are extremely sorry for wasting your time. The prosecutor didn't bring the evidence that you've requested, so we're going to be forced to dismiss this case. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean to tell me that you could have done that the first or second time that I showed up? You've wasted so much of my time, Your Honor. It just leads me to ask you the next question. Does the evidence that you and the state refer to even exist? He goes, I am so sorry. I cannot answer that question either. Okay, you guys, I want to make sure you understand what I'm teaching you. If they couldn't prove they've annexed Hawaii into a state under the United States. What law pertains to the individuals born in Hawaii? Okay, so I'm going to ask you the same question so you understand. If I was born in Germany, what law would pertain to this individual? The German law. And because they cannot show proof that they've annexed Hawaii, we're in the same situation. If you're born here, the Hawaiian law still pertains to those individuals. Now, I always end like this. What I teach politically, I don't want you to just take my word for it. And the reason why I say that is because we, as Hawaiian people, trusted America and believed what they taught us when we found out today that it was all just mere lies and manipulations. 
So you guys, I end with, thank you very much for allowing me to share this important message, but you guys do your due diligence. I'm just trying to make sure that what you're being taught is the truth and facts about my people, culture, and political stance that we're dealing with right now because of those lies and manipulations we've all been led to believe in the past. Again, don't believe me, do your due diligence and you'll find out that what I just shared is the absolute truth. Thank you very much for your open ears. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you for, thank you for the applause. That only motivates me to come back tomorrow, you guys. <laughs>